Hello and welcome to my video series, Keep Psalms and Carry On, Seeking Solace in the Psalms. If you enjoy this video, please consider clicking on the like button at the bottom of the page and also check out our Northfield Church of Christ's YouTube page. We offer live streams of our Sunday morning Bible studies, our Sunday morning worship services, and also at 6 p.m. on Sunday evening, we offer another evening service with our minister, Mark, and he'll sing some songs, offer you the Lord's Supper, and present another lesson for you to be enriched. In this video, I'm going to ask you to focus on a psalm and to enjoy the psalm to help it bring peace and meditation into your world. My point is not to explain the psalm so much, but to enjoy it as a tool of meditation to find your own calm and peace in God's word. So let's begin with a prayer. Our Lord and Father, we thank you for the many blessings that you bestow upon us. Bless us now with clarity and with strength of mind to get serenity and to have the capacity to know you and feel your presence in us. Be with us now as we meditate upon the word you have given us. It is in your son's most holy name that I pray. Amen. Okay, the psalm I would like you to look at today is Psalm 16. Now, this psalm begins with an asking of God to preserve you, to put your trust in him, that because of this trust, he will preserve you. We get our goodness from him. Nothing of it is goodness that isn't part of him. Remember that. This is a way to keep us humble in our good deeds and to know that God is our comfort. The saints he mentions. These aren't what we normally look at as saints, but just those people who are people of God. And you and I who are... Uh, believers in God. And he looks at those who have died serving the Lord and to use them as our examples. Be careful from whose cup you drink. You should drink from the Lord's cup. God maintains us. God counsels us. My heart instructs me in the night seasons, it says. Night. How many times have you lain in bed in, in contemplation at night and feel those fears and worries that come at you during the day? Why not bring our hearts back to God? Why not use this psalm to, to allay those fears, those worries that hit you in the night seasons? Use your heart to put your trust in God in that night season when your heart many times takes control and steers you the wrong way. And look at the next line. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be moved. Read that line again. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be moved. Think about your right hand. Think about God's hand around yours, keeping you firm and steady. God at your right hand. Isn't that a good focus to maintain? Thinking God is at your right hand. Imagine that God is right there. We can have a clear heart. We can be assured that we will rest in hope. Those ending lines in this psalm are very strong thoughts and ones worth keeping as we retire to our sleep. God will not leave our souls to death, to leave us to corruption. He will show us the path of life, and in him we are full of joy. Stay at God's right hand, and keep this psalm to assure you that he is there. Until next time, keep psalms and carry on.